Well, the summer construction season kicks off right as gas prices and inflation surge. News 8 Garrett Berquist tells us whether this means longer traffic delays. INDOT gets us funding from a combination of the gas tax and general tax revenue. And if the first few months of this year are any indication, both of those funding sources are in for a wild ride. You'll have plenty of construction projects to watch out for, about 1,300 statewide. Everything from rural pavement repair to rebuilding the interchange between I-465 and I-69 in Indianapolis. When we say a lot, we mean statewide, all over, uh, in every region we are building this state, literally from the, from the ground up. Not just the mega projects, but the very small localized projects. We also included a community crossings program. So you're going to see construction on a large scale and on a very micro scale. Lawmakers gave MDOT close to $2 billion for construction for this budget cycle. But big projects such as interchanges can overlap several budgets. Gas prices in Indianapolis dipped below $4 a gallon late last week, but they're still almost a dollar higher than they were at the start of the year. That's actually good news for MDOT's budget. The traffic's coming whether um, because production levels are up as well. That leads to revenue, as you mentioned. Um, so we just we, we can't afford to take a day off or a month off or a year off. The big question is how much INDOT can buy with each dollar. Inflation is now nearly 8%. That's the highest level since early 1982. INDOT Commissioner Michael Smith says so far, gas tax revenue is staying ahead of inflation. Certainly, uh, INDOT does a good job, our staff does a good job of looking at uh, both of those factors and what we think, and uh, we'll, we'll figure out how to make ends meet. But for now, uh, we're in a good spot, but certainly we've got some challenges around um, higher prices. INDOT officials say they hope to finish I-69 by 2024. They hope to complete the I-69-465 interchange rebuild by 2025. In Indianapolis, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.